I got radically saved when I was 16. I was on an Indian reservation as American field service student. And I was invited to revival, didn't know what it was, revival, and absolutely undone. I was white and everybody else was American Indian and I was completely transformed that day. Just saved, born again, undone. And the Pentecostal holiness people got a hold of me and they said, you need the Holy Ghost. So I went to their church and the Holy Spirit fell on me. It was March 14th, 1976. March 13th, 1976, I was saved. I was saved. I was totally saved. So here I am just praying and worshiping, and I've got my hands lifted up in church, and the presence of God hits me. Like this light just comes on me, and I'm frozen there. And it turns out I was frozen for three hours. And I hear God say, you're called to be a missionary and a minister to go to Africa, Asia, and England. No one asked a 16-year-old to get up back then and preach in their church. They do now. But back then, they didn't. So I heard God. I stepped out on a street corner and started preaching the gospel the next day. And I've never stopped. And then he sent me to Mozambique by myself, a uh, one-way ticket, got the airfare the day before I left. He said, I want you to go with nothing, sit on the street corner. So I just obeyed him and I went. And, and Roland was still writing up his thesis. And I went to Mozambique, sat on a street corner to learn just Portuguese, Shangan, sitting there. And I'm seeing all these dying children in rags. They're dirty. They're dying. They're sick. They're, they're sleeping under bridges. I had nowhere to sleep. I, I didn't know where to go. I had no money. I had nothing. I'm just on the street corner. I heard God go to Mozambique. There I am, all just God and me and these street kids. And he said, take them home. Oh, great. I don't have a home. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> he said, you learned about my kingdom from the poor. Now I want you to learn about my kingdom from the children. I started picking up these dying kids, broken kids, sick kids, and I had 320 of them. My fear of what it would be like to feed thousands and thousands of children and to just believe that there was always enough. My fear, the fear of that just dissipated in his love. And since that day, I've never said no to a dying child. And, and now, you know, we went from a tiny little ministry of, you know, what was it, three, four churches and 320 children to just, it just exploded. It exploded. We have thousands of children and hundreds and hundreds on our staff and God just keeps pouring out. But he keeps saying to me, keep drinking. And I'm still desperate. I'm still thirsty. Hi, beautiful, powerful women of God. And I just bless you. I'm so excited to be with you and Ruth and some of the other speakers. March, this March 14, 2020, in the Philippines. It's going to be a time filled with joy and impartation. I want to leave you with this scripture from Colossians. Christ is our message. We preach to awaken hearts and bring every person into the full understanding of truth. It has become my inspiration and passion in ministry to labor with a tireless intensity with His power flowing through me to present to every believer the revelation of being his perfect one in Jesus Christ. So I just bless you with these words of Paul and my prayer, and I just ask that Jesus crash in on you, and I'll see you in March. Bless you. And then you came, saved me from my sin and shame. Jesus came.